here's where I want to look for. I want to start right up here. This is where I want to place my soft tip. Wow, that's that's what I'm always looking for. And I want to put start it right here. But keep in mind, I, when I push, I don't want to overextend. I just want to bring that line together, make it kind of nice and straight as I go into the dent right right here. Let's go to the next slide. Now you, now you can see that I did a little bit of both. Okay, I did knock down. You can see a little tap down marks if you look closely right around in that area but you notice that the line is some more is symmetrical it's straighter it's not as pinched it's not as thin anytime you have a skinny skinny high spot like the black line and a little bit of whiteness on the left that's telling you that it's got mainly a high in the middle of the low horizontal okay and you can see the lines are reflecting this type of dent this way but be careful. I don't want you to get in the habit of working your dent diagonal or horizontal because technically that's not the right way. There is an exception though. You can do it with creases, but don't get too comfortable and work your whole dent this way. So crowns and highs. Let me see if you can see. Take a look real quick. Tell me what you think is crowns or high spots, okay? And now I'll, I'll go through it. You can pause this anytime you want. I like to use the double bend tool because it's, it's a blade tip and you can go in there either uh, with less tape or hardly any tape at all and really push the metal without damaging the paint. Look at that, all straight, okay? I mean, there is a tiny bit of microwaves in there, but you know what, I mean, that's, that's you're talking looking like orange peel right there. Now, I could go with the super metal sharp tip but make sure you really know uh, that your tooltip, you know where your tooltip's at. Let's just put it that way.